On this episode of The Basement, we go ahead and finish up the exterior work on this cabinet. I really have no idea what I'm doing. I want to use a vinyl touch-up kit or a leather touch-up kit. Um, but what I have been experimenting with on this PV cabinet behind me is a couple of different things. I've tried Plasti Dip, just spraying it in the cap and applying it with a touch-up brush which was my original plan and it seems to work really really well problem is, is it needs several coats so what I'm trying to do in order to speed that up is apply a little bit of super glue into the trouble areas and then put some catalyzer on it to make it dry quick and then I can apply the plastic dip over top of it it works great um, it definitely has the same sheen that the rest of this vinyl has as Tolex has so we're going to go ahead and use that. I've done it on a couple of different uh, out of the way areas to see what it looks like. And other than the texture feeling a little bit more satin-ish and not feeling quite as smooth, you can't even tell in the, the little pinhole spots that I've done so far. So we're going to get right into it. Now again, <clears throat> I would caveat this by saying that this video series is not a tutorial. <laughs> so unless it works, don't try this at home. I can't stress that enough. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm learning as I go. And this is not a very expensive or sought after cabinet and amp. Although I think it will be pretty cool when it's finally finished. Um, so there's not a whole lot of risk involved here with what I'm doing in this particular project. But I want to get it right as right as I possibly can with the tools that I have and do it as on a budget as I possibly can. So with that disclaimer out of the way, now I'm going to start to super gluing. Now it looks glossy when it goes on, but it dries pretty it dries pretty flat compared to what it looks like now. The problem is, is it just no matter how thick you put it on, it ends up being too thin. Fortunately, that's going to sit underneath the head. So in its final position, you're not going to really see it. <clears throat> this is probably, out of all of them, this is the worst. At this point, I really think I'm starting to nitpick a little too much. Some of y'all probably would say, I started doing that a long time ago. To that, I would agree. All right, so I'm going to let this dry up a little while. 
I'm going to come back. All right, and we're back. I'm going to try and fix some of this uh, this white mess that I created the la on the last segment and put a little bit more of the plastic dip in. I've already sanded it down a little bit, a little bit of the excess. Probably took too much off. Again, I'm, I think I'm overcomplicating this. Um, probably putting too much effort into things that don't really quite matter as much. Um, if I would have just plastic dipped over it and not tried the super glue step to try and fill it in, it probably would have turned out a little bit better. Again, all I'm doing is just color matching it is the biggest concern and protecting the wood underneath. So with that, let me see if I can correct this mistake. Fortunately for me, it's on the back side of the cab. So with the head on top of it and nobody reaching behind it, nobody's really going to even know this is a problem. certainly did help. It's not perfect, but it definitely helped. So <clears throat> I've got one other spot that I boo-booed up. So if you remember, I had this big tear that it was starting to actually peel off of the cab itself. And yeah, I over super glued it and I definitely got too much of it spooged out. So <clears throat> let's see if I can help take care of some of this as well. <clears throat> I do have a trick up my sleeve for that. But this is definitely, it's not as obnoxious as it was. So let me see if my other trick will work. I'll come back to it in just a second. All right, so I'm back. And what I'm going to try to do right this minute is try and take care of some of these spots where I overdid it with the super glue and the accelerator. So I've got this white stuff that I was hoping to clean off and I don't want to use any kind of an abrasive because it'll ruin the finish. And there's already a lot of uh, kind of scuff marks. So this is kind of going to serve two purposes. I'm going to try and take care of that discoloration and as well as the scuff marks. And I'm thinking, well, this is like vinyl is meant to simulate leather and it kind of wears in a similar fashion to a large degree. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try on a, on a less obvious spot, I'm going to try some shoe polish. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if this is the right thing to do. Again, I'm trying to test stuff out if it works. Hopefully you can then take it and use it yourself. If not, well, at least I saved you the trouble. So I'm going to take this spot down here and I'm going to try the shoe polish trick and see if it works. So this corner also has some scuff marks along the edge and then this big scratch here other than just the uh, the issue that I caused so this might be a good test area I think I'm thinking it is man so far I'm liking the early results so I'm gonna try this other corner that's got some real obvious wear I'll take it. Like we did some crazy things on this episode. We patched some Tolex in a very unconventional way using super glue and Plasti Dip. Then we came back to blend everything in with shoe polish. And man, I gotta say, I would try this again. I definitely feel like I learned some mistakes with the accelerator. Um, they make some more precision 
tops for the super glue. That's certainly a way to you a way to go. And I've also seen some other people use wood glue, uh, which is great because it's water based and you can clean it up easier. So I could certainly try that. But I was after the faster dry time, so I could move on to other steps. So there is virtue and patience for sure. Um, so maybe on the next, if I do another cabinet on this channel, I might try that method and see how it works. Uh, but overall, I'm excited. This thing is coming together. So join me on the next episode where we put the grill cloth on. We're also going to announce a contest because the great folks at Acoustical Solutions who's provided the grill cloth sent way too much to me. I can't use it all. I want to recover the grill cloth on this PV cab, but I don't want to use the same thing on, that's on this. So I figured I'd give it away. So more details on the contest on the next episode. But just to give you a preview, here it is, man. It's looking sharp. What do you think of that? That's going to look great. So again, thanks for watching. This has been Brian from The Basement.